hey, my favorite pre-AP group of people. Um, so I'm going to make this quick. Uh, this is day three of sectionalism. Um, let's see. I'm getting emails because I'm so important. Anyways. <clears throat> So for day three, we're learning specifically about the Dred Scott case. And so what you're going to be doing today is looking at one specific Supreme Court case um, that is really going to divide people in the North and the South. Your job is to figure out what exactly is going on. Why are they getting so divided over this issue? Okay, so let's go through it really quickly so we can kind of uh, get you guys started. So step one, uh, instructions. That's what I'm recording right now but I haven't put it there yet. So uh, first things first, this is Dred Scott. This will get us started here. Um, here is a very short little secondary source focusing on the background of the case. Um, you guys will be reading this and then uh, getting started. So what I try to do for today's uh, activity is actually model this off of how AP history works in 10th grade. So you have to break down a lot of uh, document-based questions. And so that's what we're going to do with the Dred Scott case and see how it goes, honestly. Uh, might as well kind of get you guys started for what it's going to look like as we get into 10th grade. And hopefully I'll be the one teaching you then, but we can't control that. Um, so what you're going to have is you're going to have, um, I th I'm not even going to guess at a number because they're all uh, lettered this way. And so these are all documents that I've picked out that are basically going to uh, paint a picture of how it is that two different groups of Americans came to such different conclusions on the issue of slavery. So document A, document B, document C, document D, you see where this is going, document E, document F, document G, document H, document I, document J, some of y'all are like, hey, this is too much, and I'm not. Uh, and then document K, and then last but not least, we have some concluding thoughts. But what I want you guys to do, all these boxes, they're pretty short in what honestly I'm asking you guys to do with each document. So don't freak out. So if you look back way here at the beginning, clickety clackety clickety clackety, uh, like document A. This is a uh, fugitive slave ad that is printed uh, in America during the 1700s. Again, I just told you the answer. Oops. Who wrote it? That's what you got to figure out. So it's really basic stuff, nothing to freak out about, right? And then we'll come back here to the end. And if you look right here, it's opinions, very straightforward opinions. Do you think that the Dred Scott case was fair? Okay, super easy, super straightforward. Yeah, there's a lot of slides, but it's not a crazy amount of stuff you have to actually do with them. Okay, guys, so if you have any questions or concerns, Hit me up on Google Hangouts. I will be available for you guys there. Um, just let me know. So we've got three major days worth of stuff here. Um, hopefully you guys have started your critical reading. Um, if not, that's not good. It's due on Monday uh, through the Google form. All right. So uh, good luck, guys. Have fun with this one. This is a really interesting case. Um, and hopefully you guys can start to, start to kind of see why it is that these two sides are getting divided. All right, guys, have a great weekend, um, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.